Forever alone. Hashtag forever alone. Okay. Guten Tag, or in other words, hello. And guess what, guys? Valentine's Day is around the corner. <laughs> So today I am joined by meet George, everybody. George is my boyfriend. I'm not alone this year, but I am. Yeah, George. Everyone, welcome, George. Say hi, George. Yeah, say hi. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Isn't he so sweet? He's just so today, I am actually going to be talking about a little bit of science behind the science of attraction, but I'm also, don't worry though, I am also going to be talking about my personal experiences and failures <laughs> with guys. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Alright, so, now the science of attraction, I actually researched this last year for a paper in English, but it's really interesting actually. So attraction between two people, basically, just here's the main point, basically all, it's really all based upon procreation, which I know a lot of you, oh great, that's, that's wonderful, but what attracts someone to someone else is, um, a lot of times it's big eyes, or like women look for men with broader shoulders and men look for women with larger hips. Also, a big thing is, now a lot of you may be like walking on the streets or something and you'll just see someone like, and you'll just see a couple and they look like they could be brother and sister. Now this is because scientifically you or a person looks for someone who looks similar to them to date, and it's we just naturally have crushes on people who have similar genetic codes. This is so that we can pass our genes down to our children and keep the wonderful traits going. Yeah. And actually, scientifically, human beings cannot fully fall in love and properly fall in love until they are at the age of 25 or older. Everything else up until that stage is really just lust. Yeah. And if you know what I'm talking about, then it just goes back to support what I said at the beginning, what the main point of attraction really is. I know a lot of you are like, okay, sure, this is interesting, Ella, but let's get to the personal stories, don't worry. Here they come. Alright, so, thanks- okay, no, not Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving! So, Valentine's Day for me has never really been anything special at all. Um, in my entire existence, I am 16, keep in mind. <laughs> I have never had a boyfriend, never had my first kiss, I've never been on a single date, and yeah, I don't mind it, but at the same time, it is kind of sad because on Valentine's Day, you know, you see all these cute little couples walking around all cute, so you're just like kissing and holding hands and, oh, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Well, now I have you, George, but. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Ah! <laughs> It doesn't really bother me too, too much, but, and like, I feel, you know, it's great for those people because they have someone, but then I just kind of remember, like, oh, hey, hashtag forever alone, again, so, but, in elementary school, what we did was we would have on Valentine's Day, um, or depending on which day it fell on, the day before or the day after, then what we would do is we would bring in Valentines for every single class member, and then for our friends from different classes, and we would have our little baggie set up that we had decorated pri um, prior to Valentine's Day, and we would we would go around and give each other Valentines and like write cute little messages. So, one year in Spanish class, which was mandatory at the time, I'm starting to feel a little old, but I'm 16. You know, sometimes I just feel like I'm an old soul, or like an older woman trapped inside a 16-year-old's body. It's really weird. 
But one year in Spanish class, we made Valentine's in Spanish. And I had this one crush that I, there was this one guy I had a crush on through the entirety almost of elementary school, probably from kindergarten through third or fourth grade. And it was actually really embarrassing because I used to chase him around the playground every day at recess. I'm so sorry I put you through that. Oh my god. I hope I've improved since then. So, <laughs> I wrote him a note. A valentine. And... And I did give it to him. But... Oh, I get wrapped up in these movies and this old school stuff. Wouldn't you agree, George? See? Yeah. What? What's that? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> oh, George. Echolocation! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was weird. So I gave it to him. And then what he did was he read it, threw it in the trash. But... Yeah, elementary school is actually the only time when guys actually, like, showed me that they had a crush on me. Now, if any guy likes me, now my dad says this is because they're intimidated by my, like, because I know who I am and I'm, like, self-assured and stuff, I don't know. But, yeah, elementary school was really the time when all the guys were, like, giving me little presents and stuff. Like, one time... This was, I think, in kindergarten or first grade. This boy liked me. He stole... I probably still have it somewhere, but I feel like I lost it. But he stole from his little sister. Great, I know. He stole this little light blue elephant plastic clip, which probably didn't cost more than, like, five cents. Maybe even one cent. I mean, but it was the cutest thing, and it was... And then like the day after, or day before or something, he gave me dandelions, which, thanks for the flowers. The only flowers I've ever received from a guy. But, yeah, and then another time, a guy made me a ring out of paper and drew a circle on it. And that is really all the experiences I have with guys, and I have been embarrassed by them quite a bit in the past. I think that every girl's parent should tell them that they have the power to ask a guy out or, you know, make the first move and stuff because girls are proud, girls have the power too. I mean, we're, we're pretty awesome people. <sighs> oh, let's see what else I've written down. Oh yeah, and I've never had a valentine, guys, until now with George, but really he doesn't exist. Hashtag forever alone. So yeah, I am completely single. Just me, myself, and I. And however you spend your Valentine's Day, enjoy it. Whether it's with yourself, chocolate, pizza, ice cream, your boyfriend or girlfriend, or family, or just anyone. Anyone in general. Just enjoy your Valentine's Day and remember, if you're single, there's someone out there for you. I mean, come on. I mean, do you know how many people are in this world? There are a lot of people in this world. Ich liebe euch so, so viel. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, guys. And a great Valentine's Day! <laughs>